Good afternoon, Hazel. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Hazel, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Hazel Butang, 32 years old, single from Pagutan Awan Lady. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because it is the only work that I'm comfortable of doing, ma'am. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other countries? Because I want to experience working in Malaysia, ma'am. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? I'm hardworking, ma'am. I'm honest and I'm trustworthy. May I know what your educational level is? High school, ma'am. High school graduate. What is your recent working experience? Domestic helper, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? In? Yes, ma'am. In Kuwait. In Kuwait, okay. So for how yes. many years? Two years and three months, ma'am. Okay. Do you have this experience uh, of taking care of baby? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn. Okay, how about elderly? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn. Okay, do you have any other special skills? Sewing, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Okay, currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? A little, ma'am. A little of? Um, Filipino foods and Arabic foods. Okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all these house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Housekeeping, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call the menu three times in a month. You only allow to use your phone so you are not allowed to use smartphone. Yes, ma'am. Are yes, ma'am. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? I'm hardworking, ma'am, and trustworthy. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I am the breadwinner mom of the family. I need to work hard in order to support my sick father and my and to support the studies of my youngest sister. Okay, can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases? No, ma'am. How about, um, do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Do you take any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? 
yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Uh, yes, ma'am. Which pet is that? Dog, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. How about friends? No, ma'am. Okay, Hazel, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Um, if ever, ma'am, I will ask permission to my employer to to go home uh, for a while. Um, to go home for a while. Um, um, I think they will understand the situation because they also have family. Mm -hmm. um, what is this? Um, okay, Mary Jane. Um, what's this, Lisa? Tell us about Ma. yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, I am Hazel Buta, 32 years old, single, from Pagutan Awan Lady. I want to work um, in Malaysia because um, I want to experience working there. And I found out that Malaysian people are kind and respectable. Okay, mm. what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Um, if ever you choose me, ma'am, sir, um, I will assure you that I am a hard-working person. Um, you can also trust me. I'm also honest. Um, I'm hoping for a good employer, employ uh, good relationship as an uh, employer and employee. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Hazel, we will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.